A new tiltrotter aircraft being developed for the U.S. Army under the future long-range attack aircraft FLRAA program will be called the MV-75. It was announced today at the American Aeronautics Association's annual Mission Solutions Summit. The FLRAA Mission Design Series MDS designation is MV-75. M stands for multi-mission and V stands for vertical takeoff and landing. The number 75 honors the year 1775, the birth year of the United States Army. Major Daniel Matthews, public affairs advisor to the Vice Chief of Staff of the Army, said in a statement, this is a vertical takeoff tiltrotter tactical assault and medical evacuation aircraft that will provide the Army with a long range, high speed option that can survive in contested environments. In 2022, the Army selected Bell's design, based on the company's V280 Valor Tiltrotter, as the winner of the FLRAA competition, beating out Lockheed Martin's Sikorsky Boeing Defiant X. The Army hopes to replace a significant number of its H-60 Black Hawk helicopters including some of the MH-60M Special Operations helicopters assigned to the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, SOAR, with the new MV-75. The design is set to be finalized by the end of the year and includes features to help ease the conversion of the baseline variant to a Special Operations version. Performance. The MV-75 offers twice the speed, cruising at 280 knots, top speed up to 300 knots, and twice the range, combat range of 500 to 800 nautical miles, up to 2,100 nautical miles unrefueled, compared to the Black Hawk. It has a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 30,000 pounds and can carry up to 12 personnel, eight troops, two pilots, two crew. Design, unlike the V-22 Osprey, the MV-75's engines remain fixed while the rotors and drive shafts tilt, improving reliability and reducing maintenance costs. It features a V-tail, retractable landing gear, and a triple redundant fly-by-wire system. Multi-mission capability, the MV-75 is designed for tactical assault, medical evacuation, medevac, and special operations. Its baseline design incorporates special operations features, making conversions for the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment. SOAR, simpler and more cost-effective compared to modifying UH-60s into MH-60Ms. Digital Engineering. The program leverages advanced digital engineering, including a Systems Integration Lab, SIL, and virtual prototypes to accelerate development and reduce risks. This approach has enabled unprecedented real-time design access, streamlining the process. Development and Timeline. Milestones. The program reached Milestone B in August 2024, entering the engineering and manufacturing development phase. The Army plans to build six prototypes, with the first flight scheduled for 2026 low-rate initial production in 2028, and initial fielding targeted for 2028-2029, ahead of the original 2030 goal. Accelerated Schedule Army leadership, including Secretary Dan Driscoll, aims to deliver 24 megavolts minus 75 prototypes within 24 months, reflecting an aggressive push to modernize aviation capabilities. As for the designation itself, the M stands for multi-mission and the V refers to the design's ability to take off and land vertically. The use of the M prefix for the base variant of the FLRAA is interesting considering that previous Army transport helicopters, such as the Black Hawk and Chinook, all had designations that began with a U for utility or a C for cargo. The multi-mission designation here may, 
in part reflect the special operations specific features already in place. The Army may also hope that the FLRAA's basic design will be more adaptable to other missions, such as casualty evacuation or a bombing role. Army helicopters used for those missions often have an H designation in their prefix, indicating search and rescue. The 101st Airborne Division will be the first recipient of the MV-75. The division has initiated the process of preparing for the adoption of the new aircraft, which, according to the command, will substantially alter its deployment strategies. Strategic Importance The MV-75 is a cornerstone of the Army's future vertical lift FVL program, designed to provide unmatched speed, range, and survivability in contested environments particularly in theaters like the Indo-Pacific, where long distances are critical. It will enhance air assault, medevac, and command and control capabilities, supporting both conventional and special operations forces. The program, valued at approximately $70 billion over its lifespan, aims to replace around 2,000 Blackhawks and is expected to incorporate modular open architecture systems for future upgrades. Despite a one-year delay due to a Lockheed Martin protest, rejected in April 2023, the Army remains committed to the MV-75 as its top aviation modernization priority.